How's it going everybody? This is Double Wide 6 and today I'm going to bring you a video on how to hook up a PEX pipe to an air compressor. So uh, if you're running lines in a garage like I am, you'll be able to uh, use PEX lines rather than copper lines and uh, it's going to save you some time and money. Um, as far as what I read, PEX can hold up to about a thousand PSI before the burst point so uh, my compressor runs tops out about 125 so we shouldn't have a problem and I've heard of other people doing this um, I've heard of people running lines under their floors under the concrete using PEX and uh, I've heard of people running lines down walls using PEX um, luckily for me I'm just running it on the outside of a wall and uh, we're just going to show you how to hook that up in case you're interested. And um, if the line would ever break, I could easily replace it, but I don't think it will. But it's a lot easier than copper. So you can follow along this video. We'll show you how to do it and the parts you need. All right. So obviously you're going to need some PEX. If you don't know what PEX is, it's a plastic pipe. They make it in red, which symbolizes hot water. They make it in blue, which symbolizes cold water. And they make it in white, which is neutral water, I guess. Doesn't really matter what color you get. This is half inch PEX. And, you know, it's somewhat rigid. It's got about an eighth inch wall all the way around. And uh, it should work really well for our air pressure. So from the packs, we're going to go to this fitting. You'll notice the end of the fitting has barbs on it. This is a PEX fitting. Um, this is what you call a male, uh, or sorry, a female PEX fitting. Um, so we have a female that looks like that. Um, here's a male. It's kind of the opposite. So the threads are on the inside of the female, and the male, the threads are on the outside and this thing here is basically an adapter um, it goes from three-eighths of an inch to this is three-eighths here and so is that and it goes down to quarter inch which is going to be what your air compressor fitting is I've already put Teflon tape on these pieces so we're gonna tighten them up put them together all right guys, I think we're about ready to attach this thing. Um, I've taken the time to tighten this up. So you have the uh, female adapter, then the, uh, you know, the, the adapter piece that goes in the middle there. And that goes from 3 eighths down to a quarter. And then this fitting you might recognize that uh, fits an air compressor pressure fit. So what we're gonna do is tie these barbs onto our PEX tubing. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do take your PEX and you'll take a they get, have these copper rings and they're meant to slip right over the PEX like that and then you take the uh, barb fitting fit it inside and then we're going to crimp that with these crimpers alright so uh, here are my crimpers and uh, they look a little rough if you take a look I had to bust out like a major weld on the back side of these things um, <laughs> actually broke right here uh, there's like a rivet going through on both sides and now I have a bolt and a lock nut but uh, yeah the thing broke so uh, I fixed that myself so it looks a little rough but anyhow this is for three quarters this one's for half inch um, this tool it's called a shark bite three quarter half inch pex crimp tool number two three two five one you can get it at Home Depot for about seventy bucks I think all right, so uh, we'll show you how to crimp this thing. So we're just going to take our PEX tool, line it up the way it needs to be. A little tough to do one-handed. Get that ring right where you want it, and you're going to take your PEX tool, and all it takes is a crimp. That one's done. So that's one end. Alrighty gang, so we've uh, hooked up to the air compressor and the other end of our 
hex line is going to go to our regulator. So here's actually the regulator. It's kind of laying upside down on my workbench. So we're going to attach it using a ring. And we're going to put it right on the barbed fitting. And we will crimp that right in place. Alright, that looks pretty good. And this is going to end up tipping up this way and getting mount, mounted right on the wall. There's a stud right here up above this outlet. So I'm just going to screw that in and see if it works. Right about here is where I want it. And I'm pretty sure there's a stud here. Yep. And we'll put another screw in the other side. Alright, so the regulars ma regulators mounted. Alright guys, project's completed. Um, I'm standing back a little bit just to show you what's going on. I got this uh, new air compressor, so I hooked that up. It's pretty huge, so uh, it's going to go in the corner of the shop there. And uh, I used to run a pancake compressor right down in that spot and I just moved it out of the way for my work today and uh, I'm gonna retire the pancake compressor just use that for like my nail guns and framing projects on the road but I wanna use this big air compressor and I wanted to make it easy to access it I don't wanna always be walking over to the corner and plugging into it and adjusting the uh, pressure on the manifold there so what I've done is we've taken that PEX line out of that compressor, it goes behind the workbench and it ties in right here to a regulator. With that regulator I can set it to whatever working pressure I want. So if I want it at 40 PSI for painting I can do that. If I want it at 100 PSI for a nail gun I can do that. So we can adjust that there and the air coming out of that regulator follows that black hose and it goes down underneath the workbench and I've set up a cow udder so I've got it set up so that I can hook up up to three different sources of air the first source that you see there goes up through the wall all the way up to there and that's my main air source okay um, and the other two sources on this cow order can be used for whatever I want if I'm you know running more than one gun for a project or something like that I can hook up right there so what I've done is I've actually set up a shut off so I can turn on air or turn off air which uh, makes it a little bit easier to hook in your lines there's not so much pressure blowing at them um, and uh, I can just take a line and uh, plug it in here. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. There we go. Plug in a line with one hand. And uh, we'll turn on our air pressure. And uh, we should be able to work two devices. So if we take a look over at the table, coming down from the ceiling, we have the uh, impact. Seems to be working. And uh, over here is a uh, uh, air chisel. So 
that pretty much completes this project. I'm hoping this will work out pretty nice for me. Um, it's kind of a big job getting everything set up. But I'm liking it. And I have easy access if I need to get in there. Probably won't be too often that I'm running more than one hose out of there. But if I want to, I can. So uh, I'm Double Wide 6. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, feel free to uh, post them. Um, if you're interested in the PEX pipe for plumbing, that type of stuff, I have a couple videos on how to install that as well. So check out Double Wide 6. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.